Jurassic here. Today we're back to Gangs of Sherwood. We are on Act 2, Mission 2. The gang's investigation concludes in Kirkle's Keep. The Priorus's Fortress, a shortcut through the Larontar's mines, present a dangerous but necessary path to expose the truth about the missing workers. Chaos is spreading. The excitement is mounting. Come and see for yourself. Whoa! <laughs> the mines of Larantar. That's our way to Kirkley's keep. Uh, oh, oh, standing both of you skinny people ahead. Well, that was a mistake. The other way! Oh! Watch out! Uh, Tuck incoming! Oh, Lord! All right, so nothing like going through the dark mine. Labor in progress. Something doesn't feel right. Doesn't look like the missing miners were brought here. Let's work our way up to Kirkley's Keep and find out where they are. So the game's sort of designed that you pick and choose one character to play with. We're not really able to swap between the other ones, mainly because of the fact that our gold doesn't transfer between them. Look, it's her. The Prioress of Kirkley's. <laughs> Taking miners to her lair. We must follow her. Since we don't have the gold, we can't buy the abilities, and without the abilities, the characters are kind of hard to play on some of these harder missions. Now, you can technically play them on, on like the first half of most of the missions, but whenever you start getting to like the boss fight territory, that's when the different abilities and actually being able to use like instinct, for example, come into play. <laughs> we were able to jump up and like grab it. Hold on. What? Here we go. Bullseye. <laughs> oh, that was worth it. We should have got a stealth bonus for that one. If you're just spamming the light attack, sometimes you do get headshots, sometimes you don't. The main thing though is you're able to stack up your star arrow so much faster just doing the light attacks, which is why we normally focus on them. And once you get all the star arrows charged up, you can do massive combos and damage like this and get rid of some of the bigger opponents fairly quickly. But you can also charge up your arrows if you prefer. Felt that! We actually got an A. So <laughs> that's the first A is Robin. I remember these tunnels buzzing with comrades. I don't have a good feeling about them. The Prioress has quite the reputation. And uh, I'm not talking about her praying skills. She was hired by my father to bolster his troops. I've heard that her research was more on the esoteric side. I'm going to assume there was two different paths we could have took in since we're playing as Robin, we're able to go around the other oh. way. I saw that they were an enemy at first. We were able to get up that way and at least drop the minecart on top of them. I'm assuming some of the other characters weren't able to go the path that we did. All right, so use the zip line. Now we're we gonna have to jump across, or is this just smooth? We have a runner. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> Love that sound. Arsy. <laughs> So let's see here. Looks like they're just a whole bunch of basic enemies. We don't really have. Oh, I don't know. We got a couple of them sneaking up on us. You ain't going down. Messed up my combo. Watch this. Try hard, are we? What a loser. Ace. Hold on. Can we get to you? Nice. All right, so we got a couple sneaking up behind us. Not so bad, are you? Fancy 
these bigger combo chains is what we're actually getting to the ace on. be the star arrows though whenever we wipe them out too fast like that seems to stack it up all the way up to an a Shining. how much you want to bet at the end of this mission it's still going to be like ah nah, nah, nah. you deserve a d <laughs> felt that nice there we can use the zip line Right, so let's grab up all the gold. It clearly wants us to go that way, but something's up here. Grab this before the sheriff does. What is the charge? 15% faster. I think that's good. I don't know what they mean by abilities, because we mostly... I guess the instinct is maybe considered an ability. Everything else that we're just using like our regular attacks, so it's not like we're doing too many crazy abilities. I didn't know you were so familiar with the prioress, Robin. She sold my father to the sheriff. I hope she didn't do the same with my brother. Uh, uh, spare some gold, kind stranger. Get her all the way up. <laughs> Those rats, they'll never see our trap. <laughs> <laughs> Dear sheriff. Better start preparing those rewards. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Something about a uh, trap. Really, like not talking about us. They're just trying to trap something else. All right. Well, it seems safe. Did someone order raging retaliation? That's it? Two of you? <laughs> oh, that was perfect! Rebel instinct. Set there and got us attacked. Feel that. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> right. There we go. Take out the big ones and we should be good on the rest. Peace. Love that sound. Once again, we are playing on Heroic, but I'm not sure if the difficulty scales up with people or not. It might be more enjoyable if you're playing by yourself. Almost had an A in that one. Quiet. Finally. Temporarily. Let's find a way to open that gate. Right, well, we got a stairwell back here, so it looks like we're going to have to double back around. <laughs> Well, they're fine. It's kind of weird. They got people here, but they don't actually matter since you can't do anything for them. All right, so we got one out of three wonder posters. We still have yet to actually buy the ability to have two artifacts, so we're going to have to pick and choose. Finisher attacks have reduced health threshold. I don't ever finish because we're using ranged attacks, so we don't have to worry about that. Clear. Let's go. He's pretty straightforward. Oh, this is a cool little elevator. I like it. I like we're going to be attacked on here. Look at these sitting ducks. It's hunting season, guys. I call it smashing season. I'm with you, Tuck. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh, I can just sit there and make them all fall. That's hilarious. Oh, 
pay attention then. Marcy! So get one up top and I might want to actually have to aim for this one. Hold on here. Let's just do that. Here we go. No, we don't have to actually worry about him. Not bad sound. Well, we got robbed on that, that one. The they sat there and gave us the ability to drop board. them. Of course we're going to. So we got another side room. Looks like a third possible artifact. Sometimes they give you gold though. Hey, hey guys, jackpot! Packs become interruptible. I don't think we need that since we're on a range character. We don't need that one either because it's the same thing. I spent months working in these tunnels. Hey. How are you holding up? It was a long time ago, but I wasn't expecting to be back here. No one can outrun my arrows. I guess eventually I do need to buy some better combos and stuff, because it's still mostly the basic combos with upgrades on them. Or at the very least, max out our light attack damage, because we should have plenty of gold to actually fully do it if I'm correct. Oh, what is it? So it's RB and RT? Yeah. Oh. leads upward to the exit. We have to find a way to open a path then, and my fist won't cut it this time. Alright, so I was not expecting that. But now we actually know how to do a finisher. That Looks like a trap. I spot a smelting engine on our way up. I see where you're going with this. That's the plan. Resist. It's like we might have a few enemies popping out. Nothing too crazy, oh, right? Oh, poison. I'll pass you to the ground. Oh, we were able to dodge in time. A little bit too slow. Watch this. Take that. Oh. I do find it kind of funny that originally those guys with the shields were like the hardest enemy, and now they're actually not too bad. You just have to know when to dodge, then you're good. Is great. That it? Well, it looks like we might have killed them a little bit too fast, and we have to wait on the enemies to catch up to us. So many troops. What are they doing here? It's just a mind for Lord's sake. Focus on the fight until we finish charging that cart. You want to get trapped in the corner? Can okay, I do the vent again? Not yet. Off you go. Almost could have killed the big one. I assume the poison would kill them too. Not so bad, are you? Feel great! Ha <laughs> Felt that! I think last time we accidentally hit one of the bombs on the ground and that's why they all just completely got melted away. But the Star Hills actually do a really good job of killing you whenever you're surrounded like that. Oh, that's uh, they do have achievements if you get combo strings above 100, just so you guys are aware. Not sure if there's any other achievements past 100 yet, though. Slowed it down on purpose. That way, you can't get an A in this area. Oh, 
can outrun my arrows. See? And then we get a C because of it. That dude was just very true slow. I always wanted to say this. Firing! Oh, oh come on! That was my line! You're too slow. Cover your ears. <laughs> Hold on, we need to grab the gold. And then we can bounce on forward. We got 681 gold, so we're doing pretty good on gold-wise. I believe the higher the missions are, the more the gold it costs to actually respawn, though, in case we do die. We got to keep that in mind. There's this little side path here. Oh, this is blocked off before. All right, so it's just a little shortcut back to the original area. Raymond of Nottingham. Just what I thought. Kind of tanky. Wherever there is a hole, there's a chance my brother Raymond is crawling inside it. The good news is, you could be my ticket out of this door. You hide something either because it's precious or because it's hideous. <laughs> it's dog face Raymond we're talking about. So, what do you think? So we can turn on Rebel Instinct. Gotta get behind his shield, though. <laughs> right. Wait for it. There we go. Now I can go back for you. And I think we can get him underneath the pallets. That might be the best strategy. Like this. Right. I did some damage to him. There's another pallet over here. That's not actually wanting to drop on him for some reason. Alright, so he's got the shield, so light attacks don't really matter too much. I think we just want to bait it and attack and then come in here with a bunch of heavy attacks. Shining! Or we could sit there and charge up a whole bunch of shining arrows. Yeah, this one's just a weird boss fight. The goal here is basically just to get him to attack, then you run behind him, get some damage in. Fortunately, all of our star arrows are going to be wasted on his little shield. Shining! I mean, if he just wants to stand there, theoretically, we should be able to charge up a whole bunch of arrows. Just release them all, right? There we go. Yeah, that did some damage. Off you go. I'd say this is actually the easiest boss to fight in the game. Which, I mean, obviously, he's mostly set up to defend, anyways. So that's probably why. Sound. I don't know why the pallet can't fall on him. Maybe we're only allowed to hit an enemy once with it? Classy! Right! Here we go. Good thing about Rebel Instincts is it sort of has arrows that go from all over the place attacking the opponent. So you're still able to get damage even though we were mostly focused on shooting the front of Love that sound. <laughs> what a loser. So you don't feel sorry for your family at all, Marion? Oh, I have a lot of feelings for my brothers, including the joy of hearing their last breath. Phew, charming. 
Let's hope those missing miners are still breathing somewhere. Somehow. Alright. Well, we got us another checkpoint and a chest back here. Over here! That's so that recharge 15% faster. I think we'll keep what we got. <sighs> Oh, oh, people need your help. Oh, oh, please accept my deepest gratitude. Nice, gang power level four. That means we're going to get the maximum amount of damage, and we also get a little bit extra health whenever we go into a checkpoint area. That should come in handy. Looks like the Prioress has a rat problem. They're infesting every crack in these rocks. Shining! Alright, so we got the one with the shield that we need to get rid of. To do that, the gun's a little annoying too. So let's do you. That. There we go. Yeah, the gun's actually pretty strong in this game. So that's a good headshot. We'll just keep on dodging. So they give you plenty of time to actually dodge. You don't have to think too much about it. As long as you just evade right when you see the red, you're good. If it's just the white, that means they're charging up an attack, so you don't have to click it just quite yet. And then red, you yeah, have, I think it's like one, maybe two seconds to dodge back without getting hit. Um, back to the esoteric research. Am I the only one to believe it's a code name for human experiments? This place could be a testing ground for her abominations. So we're the lab rats now. How did that happen? If there's a lab, we haven't found it yet. All right, so we zip line across. Jumping over those, you just click jump once, don't dash across, or else you are going to pull to your death. <laughs> just defeat the enemies, but I don't see. I guess they're all done here. Oh, such a wondrous view. Why does the best estate always go to the worst people? <laughs> Says the kid who used to sleep in Sir Loxley's castle. Doesn't beat the tavern benches where I crash most nights. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, we'll get us some B. I don't think we have enough things to get us to A, though. Unless you guys drop in a whole bunch of enemies. Run my arrows. That was perfect placement for that. <laughs> Alright, so hold on. We got a prisoner here that we can save. I don't think we've saved any of you. Ha! I love that sound. One out of five. Well, maybe they're all over here. Now, if you guys are curious about just shooting them down, you can just do a light attack and sometimes it'll lock on, sometimes it doesn't. You know you're good whenever it does like the actual circle around your target, then it's going to automatically aim for you. It's sad how the best viewpoints are always crowded with tourists. All right, so get rid of both of them. This. 
Where's the bad guys at? There we go. Bullseye! Really? Let's see what you got! I feel like you should get like three times the point for just having them fall to their death. Alright, so we zip across. There's a poster. It's kind of weird because I don't know. This area just sort of seems like it would be an area where you get like hacked, but maybe it's just peaceful. Right. Oh, no, we take that scum. Off you go. Classy. Well played. Now's my turn. You gotta like knock him down, and then you're able to do execution on him. Some of these guys are just dying too quick though to actually do an execution on them. And I think you might be able to do it too if you sneak up on one. I'm gathering some coins for the resistance. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.